All right, this time let's start with a graph. So I'll give you a graph here. And you tell me the uh, roots, the factors, and the quadratic equation. Just so you understand here, this parabola goes through 6 and negative 2. So again, pause, come back, I'll solve it for you. All right, looking at our graph and seeing that our roots are 6 and negative 2, we can immediately put down our roots. Negative 2 and 6. Knowing the roots, we can get our factors using the opposites of those, x plus 2 and x minus 6. Okay, now that we've got our factors, I can use the sum and product rule and get our quadratic equation. So x squared, sum is negative 4, product is negative 12. So there's our quadratic equation. So we've got roots, factors, quadratic equation, and graph. All right, this time let's go ahead and start with the quadratic equation. So let's say x squared plus 6x plus 5. Now, once again, pause. I'll come back, show you how to find factors, roots, graph. All right, looking at this uh, quadratic equation, I can see that it's leading coefficient, that number multiplying x squared is that little invisible one. So it's possible that my sum and product rule is going to work. So I'm looking for two numbers whose sum is 6, whose product is 5. Well, the factors of 5, it's a prime number, so it can only be 1 and 5. And 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 plus 5 is 6. So there's the two numbers that will work with my sum and product rule. So my factors would be x plus 1 and x plus 5. Now my roots are going to be the opposite of those two numbers. Minus 1 and minus 5. And so I can make my graph knowing my roots are minus 1 5. So my roots where my parabola crosses the x-axis at minus 1 and minus 5. 